So occasionally we come across something that's just extra special and this Underwood Golden Touch is one of those. Boy, we've had a hard time gathering any information on this typewriter and even finding um, anything like this out there and um, what I can tell, and it's unverified, but what I can tell is this most likely is a 1956. Um, it has the lowercase Underwood logo, so that tells me that this was pre-19, um, and it's not, it doesn't have the Olivetti name, and it's made in the USA, so it's definitely pre-1963, um, and made in the USA, and 40s, I believe the logo still had the uppercase U on there, and then I found an article that did reference this typewriter, had an image of almost exactly the same one, and uh, indicated that it, they thought it was a 1956, so... That's the closest thing I have to go on. The nice thing about this particular typewriter, um, if you're interested in this one, if it's still available, is I do have the original warranty. Unfortunately, they did not fill in the information. So that was kind of a bummer, but I have the original warranty paper and I have the original kind of um, manual, typewriter manual that tells you how to use all the different things and what they're for, which in and of itself is um, as a lot of value because most typewriters do not have this. And if you find it, it's usually a photocopy. So to have the original, um, you usually pay, you know, 10 to $20 just to get the original papers for the typewriter. So that has a lot of value as well. So let's take a look at this Underwood Golden Touch. As you can tell, it's got the gold protruding, protruding kind of front facing grill or plate, whatever you want to call that there. Um, this has the margins in the back. Let me see if I can lift this up to show you. There's your margins. You just press and push. This is considered a nice portable typewriter. This is going to be an excellent machine for someone who is a serious writer and who wants to be able to take their great working, great functioning, beautiful typewriter to coffee shops or um, type, type ins or on vacation with them. The case that comes with this particular one is a beautiful, it's a nice brown um, kind of a reddish brown carrying case so it's gorgeous very very portable and user um, user friendly here's your carriage release right here um, let me move my plant sorry about that y'all so you can hear the bell so right here is your paper guide also, you're going to find your paper release because this is going to release the bar. Now, I'm going to assume if you're looking at this typewriter that you are familiar with typewriters um, because this is going to be an investment piece and this is going to be something you're going to hang on to for a long time. Um, your paper, um, sorry, ribbon reversal is going to be on the side right here. And if your ribbon, which sometimes kind of gets a little, um, if it gets, gosh, I always lose my words. I can write, but I cannot talk. So I've got my foot in my mouth. But if it gets like this, then you just turn the little handle. There you go. And then you can move your ribbon. Oops, come on. There you go. So you can move your ribbon back and forth that way. Also, here's your line selector, one, two, and three, single, double, triple. Um, to open up the top, you press the little logo, and it's going to pop that open. You'll see we put in a universal um, ribbon, and I can see why it didn't work. I've got to fix this ribbon. It's in This side is in backwards, so um, it needs to be going this way. So I will fix that for you guys. Okay, um, tab is right here. And oh, please pay attention to guides, how it goes in. I will take a photo of it. And the nice thing is, is this will show you how to load 
your um, ribbon in there. Um, but the ribbon needs to be, you'll see this one, it's kind of wound opposite directions. It needs to go the same direction. So somehow this ribbon got threaded improperly. And so I will fix that for you guys. Sorry, this is taking a long time. Okay. Out. All right, so just close that. Right here is this is how you clear your tabs, and I went ahead. There was there was a dozen tabs set on this, so I went ahead and cleared them out. And you just what you do is you um, just hit tab, and there's none, so it just went to the end. But it'll stop at a tab. You hit clear, hit, and then that's how you clear it. And then you set the tab in the same way. All right, so your margin release is gonna be right here. It looks like we have a couple of different symbols. We've got the temperature symbol here, which is nice. You normally don't see that on a typewriter. And you see the gold outlining on this. Whoever had this took really good care. Your color selector is right here on the right. Let's go ahead and do some typing. So put your paper against the guide, thread that through. Also, um, if you're looking for the serial number, it's right back here on the right side, kind of underneath this track for your carriage, okay? Let's go ahead and do some typing. So no number one, so you use the lowercase l. Oh, this type's very nice. Oh, I'm tempted to keep this. I'm always tempted to keep typewriters, but I can see why they call it the golden touch. So let me turn this. I'm gonna move the direction of that ribbon. Lovely, lovely typewriter. Um, so golden touch, I suspect, if you can tell here, you can see kind of it has a little bit of smudge, um, almost like a, a double vision look here. And that's because I was hitting it too hard. Uh, on manual typewriters, you kind of have to feel what the typewriter needs. And so I had to reduce, if you can see, how I reduce the pressure on the keys and um, and I'll take a close-up picture on that and you can look at it on the Etsy site um, and that's because I changed the pressure with which I was typing oops can't hit two at once backspace So this really does require a light touch. You can just see in and out, and it's probably gonna take you a while to adjust. Um, when it, you hit it too hard, it's a little blurry, but when you hit it just right, it's nice and crisp. So you need a light touch for this. So I don't recommend this. Well, obviously it's gonna be a little bit uh, higher price point for kids because kids are gonna hit really hard and you don't wanna do that. This is for someone with a light touch on it. Backspace. 
Okay. What a great typewriter. Um, gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, and this has an exclamation point. So I do like this one because there's some unusual symbols on here that normally don't come on a keyboard like this. Uh, when it's lacking the number one, usually you have to use the apostrophe and the period to create your own exclamation point. It has the, um, the, uh, oops, the temperature symbol. Great thing for this. Awesome. You are going to love this typewriter. Please check out the close-up images on our Etsy shop. And if you have any comments or questions, let me know. And if you know anything about the Underwood Golden Touch, and have your own images, upload them. I'd love to see them. I'd love to be able to learn more about this typewriter. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and visit our Etsy shop and our website. Have a great day.